Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today because we're growing crystals. I'm using this science kit, Smithsonian Crystal Growing. This is the front and this is the back. This is all we have, totally seven stuff. First of all, we have three crystal containers, three rocks, a magnifying glass, and two stir sticks, a bag of golden citron crystal growing chemical, and another crystal growing chemical, aquamarine blue and protective glass. Last but not least, we have instructions. According to the instructions, you also need scissors and a heat resistant measuring cup. Step one, you will first grow crystal clusters of a golden citron color on a base rock. Carefully cut all of the crystal growing cups apart from one another as shown here. Be sure to leave a rim around each growing cup. Also remove any sharp corners from the rims with your scissors. Stir out 68 milliliters of water and pour this water into a medium sized pan. Place the pan into the stove and heat until water is boiling. Remember, when using boiling water, always have an adult to help you, like always. Step 3. Open bag 1, crystal growing chemical, and pour two-thirds of the contents into the heat-resistant measuring cup. Remember, don't pour all of it. Only pour two-thirds. Then, stir this mixture with your stick until all of the chemical grains have dissolved completely. Remember, allow the chemical mixture to cool for 10 minutes after the grain have dissolved. Next, place one base rock in the bottom of a growing cup. Next step, you are going to pour the chemical water solution from the heat resistant measuring cup into the crystal growing cup. And then reopen the first bag of crystals, growing powder and carefully sprinkle a few seeds at different spots on the top of the rock, which are on the bottom of the plastic crystal growing cup. After that, you set your golden citron crystal growing cup in a place where it will not be disturbed by movement or changes in temperature. Hey guys, if you want to make aquamarine blue, I'll show you how. Just repeat the steps when you complete the yellow crystal. But only this time, you, only this time you open bag number seven which is aquamarine blue chemical. For the yellow crystal, I poured the hot water first, then I poured the chemicals. But this time, I put the chemicals first, and then I poured the hot water. I just want to see if the results are the same. It turns out that if you pour the hot water into the chemical, 
it dissolves more quickly. Just pour this to the yellow remain. It turned green. Then I'm going to add a little more of these both chemicals. You can keep stirring until it fully dissolves or you can add a little bit hot boiling water to make it quicker. excited because my crystals this are one is aquamarine blue which is the biggest i'm so happy and the second one is golden citron which is the smallest i'm not really happy about that and the third one is aquamarine blue which is not bad i'm gonna take it out whoa it's so big look at the top it's growing so big this part is the crystal and this is the rock Oh, it's pretty small, but this part is big. See, look at the top and look at the rock. Check it out. This green emerald crystal is the biggest because I put more chemical seeds on the top of the rock, so it grows bigger. And golden citron crystal is the smallest one because I didn't put much chemical seeds on the top of the rock. However, it grows pretty good on the crystal plate. This is aquamarine blue crystal. When I, take, when I try to take it out from the cup, it breaks. See, this is supposed to go on the top. Those are my crystals. Do you like it? It's very easy. You could do it at home. Watching the crystals grow every day is so much fun. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!